Tubulus, EXO coming at you here. Very, very excited this morning for today's video. You can see we're standing next to our good old Soundstream Triple X 18s, 3, 6, 9, 12 of them on this shelf, and one more over there. Now, why are we making a video about these guys today? We're not reconing them, are we? Well, no, we actually have something even cooler than that. Something that some people didn't even know was possible. We are heading down to the Sundown Audio Warehouse to give all of these big, huge magnets a nice, fresh recharge to make sure that the magnetic field is nice and even throughout all of our different drivers. Now that entails sticking these big behemoths inside of a huge device that actually energizes these bad boys and Sundown Audio happens to have one of the biggest subwoofer motor magnetizers in the whole United States. So we'll do our best part to make sure that everything's dancing well together and let's get this show on the road. Since everything is still pristine back here, no scruffs or scratches on the rubber mat, we're going to use this nice wool blanket to set our subwoofers on because we're going to actually have them upside down in transit. That way the 18 inch basket can be pretty much the whole stability of the ride and we won't have any teeter totter and friggin nastiness going on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy, busting ass getting those subs in there. We're on to the most, I'd say, beautiful of them all. Come look at this smorgasbord of voice coil. You guys remember it from the Sober for Blowout video. Oh, crap! It's pretty hard to imagine that all this right here is crammed into just these small little eight layers of wraps. Look at it, it's like the Sober for just threw up. Blah! There's 12 of them guys and to think we got one more in there as a spare But look at that. That's a view Right there Whew, I am tuckered out though. These things are so freaking heavy Let me know what the biggest sub that you've had to manhandle because these are enough for me at 98 pounds But they go bigger than that. Let me know what you've gotten your hands into. I gotta take a freaking break All right, we got all the subs in there guys. We are ready to head to Sundown Audio get this show on the road. It's about a three hour journey, but we got friends and company, so it'll make it real nice. Get the truck started up. Oh, she purrs like a kitten. <clears throat> Looks like I've got some hitchhikers coming along. I've got my own personal freaking beehive already in my 2018. That's not good. What the freaking hell? Here you go, buddy. I know how much you like insects. Oh my God. We are ready to rock. Did you get some snackage, man? Oh yeah, got some protein bars. There you go. All right, we're pulling up to sundown. I think I'm gonna pull over here in this little big spot. Oh, see, there's the big truck from the other day. And I think this is a nice spot for my big truck. Holy crap, we are in some sort of warehouse and it looks like we've happened upon some mining equipment. Holy voice coils, I've just been shown the light. Holy crap, this is, this is, 
Two what? Two pounds. A two pound void, like I holding it in my hand, I'm like, what? This moves up and down at fast rates? Nuh-uh. That's like, what's in JP Saho right this now. This is almost unbelievable right here. <laughs> like, how much, that's a lot of moving it's mass. Two now, pounds. He would get the normal coil so hot, so fast, that he would just burn it up. So I was like, well, we need to get basically a moving heat sink. So that's what we did, and he very rarely damages these. It's like Girth Mamba. What the <laughs> hell <laughs> happened Girth at the Mamba. factory? Someone was just having a good time one day, and they said, you know what, someone will buy it. It's a full two pounds. Oh, whoa. I've never seen this coating on the dust cap. It looks like they were doing some in-house torture testing. Our van with a 7,500 and a half ohm each. Oh, you definitely had something at half ohm. <laughs> <laughs> this was at the show for again, making me damn near puke the other day. Holy f Look at all this stuff. So this is what people call the sundown yard sale? Yep. If anything is wrong, it makes it to this pile. This huge pile. This is something for the record books. I've never seen so much in one spot. Definitely a lot going on in here, but I feel very privileged to have gotten a nice little tour from the man himself, no the company owner, Jacob Fuller. We just muscled through the first step, which was quite hard. And we brought all the subs right here. And I have to say thank you so much to this guy for even letting us use his resources. We're very fortunate to be in this position, so I just want to say thank you so much. And then look at this. We got him skating over with the remnants, kicking ass today. I'm going slow so we don't like tip them off. I'm gonna make sure that it looks like this one's the most bouncy. We made the journey. One of them suckers in there. We're just pulling up. measure before and after. She's sitting pretty. And now he has a meter which will actually measure the strength of this motor. And the measurement is called Goss, right? Yeah. Handheld and everything. Look at that. So we're like 6K. 6K. Wow. Let's see if we can bring it up. So this is that device that we were talking about in the beginning of this video. There's essentially a big coil and that gets energized. And once that happens, it creates the magnetism that our subwoofers use for our music. And on the inside, it looks a little bit something like that. Holy, holy. There's a bunch what? of caps down there that hold the charge. What the hell? Yeah, that looks dangerous. I don't... Yeah, don't touch anything in there. <laughs> 2,500 volts. So if he pushes that button, look at that. See, it actually reacted to that button. 2.5 kiloamps. 2.5 kiloamps just went in there. That's the current, and that's how we get magnetism right here. Look, we you're gained getting, almost, what, a thousand? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's 71. Jump, jumping up even more. 71? So you gained quite a bit, yeah. So we need to take all these parts out, because you saw how it went from six to seven K. You need to remove this so you can stick that probe in there somewhere. That one jumped pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> that one's in there real good. And so is the the rest of the coil. We'll have to fix that up. All original parts, huh? Some of them. Some of them. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, these, these are the PSR ones. I, know, I never understand them putting holes in the trunk. That's that dust cap. And now 
I'm putting Showtime SPL Edward to work. Yeah. Got him cutting up my old subwoofer. Did me well. It lasted me from, I think, 2011, that one is from. This is why it's a good idea to have your uh, old subs exhausted. More than likely, they haven't just demagnetized on their own. Yeah. They probably just were never fully charged. They were never fully charged right from the get -go. A lot of the build houses don't have the capability to fully charge those things. And I like how it cycles through pretty quickly. It's not something that needs to take forever. If we were doing this oh, all day, it's one. actually set up for water cooling in the back. That's what those pipes are. And each time it does that, it's saturating the materials more and more. And that's what we're being seeing on the, uh, that device that he has. We finally got it in the books. Oh yeah, fully magnetized. Thanks to our buddies at Sundown Audio. Can't thank them enough. So we're gonna keep them stacked nice and safe and uh, push them along back down to the big behemoth. throw all the loose stuff up front so it doesn't get in the way of the subs and we'll lay them out just like the way we did in the beginning. And there we have it. The deed has been done. They are loaded back up. My back feels surprisingly good, but these are the bad boys themselves right here and I'm feeling real good that they're nice and freshly redone. Couldn't have done it without our guys here at Sundown. Thank you so much, man. You're